Welcome back, folks. Welcome back to Insanity Check. That's, we're, uh, we're just doing, it's a shame you guys on YouTube won't be able to hear the kind of music that we're playing because we're doing like a movie soundtrack theme That's thing here. you need to watch live. But you need to watch live or go check the shows out on SDWorldVision.com. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, I'm Skiller Sauce. This is Candace's Insanity Check. Check us out at Twitter at Insanity Check 12, YouTube at Insanity Check Radio, and Facebook Insanity Check. So you can find us all over if you want to, and you can catch all these stories on there as well. Yeah, we'll be uh, we have begun to uh, tweet the links to all of these things. So oh yeah, links to everything. In case you so. think we're embellishing, we're making shit up. Yeah. We're not. And here's another one where you might think, oh, these motherfuckers are just lying. This, well, this, this shit is negative. Ridiculous. This is fucking ridiculous. Mechanic drilled holes in wife's genitals so he could seal them with a padlock when he went to work. Crazy? <laughs> could, could you put this motherfucker's face up? Now, we've all heard of chastity belts and that yeah. they, they, things were really yeah. around, but... They were basically extended garments or, or uh, uh, um, wood shop <laughs> pieces I mean, attached to clothing. But no, this cat went the extra mile. This is just just look at the bullet points. I'm just looking at the bullet points. Uh, now I can't pronounce this guy's name. His name is uh, Sidibai uh, Kuhan or something like that. I, I, I'm probably bastardizing his name, but he's a bastard. Uh, uh, th this this. Gee, it says medics discovered primitive chastity belt still in place, which was obviously the padlock. He literally padlocked his woman's labia, her vaginal lips, her, her <laughs> box, her snatch, whatever you want to call it. He padlocked it literally. And I've seen some crazy piercings before, but it's absurd. And it says, you know, um, he had his key in his sock when they arrested his ass. A sock. I mean, come on. It could be any place a little bit more sanitary. And, and he said he and he did it because he felt she would stray. Really? Well, because he said that people in his women in his family were apparently who was. So why don't he just fucking chain her to the fuck? I mean, not to say that you should do anything like that, but give her like a fucking seventy foot chain and let her run around. But I guess what he's saying that you know she could still bring people in the house or something like this is this is ridiculous. I mean, this is one of the most disgusting things that I I mean. <laughs> There's an image of, uh, oh no, sorry, that was her name. I'm sorry, that was the Sidibe Kuhan. That, that is her name. That's mm -hmm. her name. Uh, what is this bastard's name? What is this motherfucker's name? So, what about her mouth? Well, I, I, I don't no. know if they even get down with that shit over there. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I just know this is one of the most disturbing stories. And, and, and the links on the bottom of this, you know, it's even worse, you know, but let's just deal with this. I mean, so essentially, just, just get the, 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 the visual image of this. This man bored holes in his wife, okay? Now, if you've ever, people out there that don't have any imagination, don't want to look down for the female out there, uh, if you've ever stuffed a turkey, you know, so that orifice <laughs> there, you know, you have that skin. And after you stuff the turkey, you have a variety of different techniques of sewing it shut so the stuffing doesn't come out. You use pins or different things like that. This guy basically bored a hole through and put a padlock there. <laughs> a padlock on his wife. Some people out there are like, hey, why didn't I think of that? I mean... It, it, this is so, I mean, I, I, I really don't understand. Couldn't he have, like, maybe perhaps, because I've thought of it. I was like, okay, fine. You don't want your wife to do some strain. You're a crazy, sick, alcoholic maniac, right? Why not just um, maybe put her in, like, a scuba diving suit and then... Cost too much money. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah, scuba diving suit probably costs too much money. Let me see. What else could they possibly use that wouldn't be so invasive? I mean, coconut shells? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I'm trying to think of something that would not. I mean, first of all, I shouldn't even be entertaining this because why am I trying to figure out a, a, a better way in which to fucking imprison your, your 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 woman? This is just absurd. But I mean, this man went to the worst possible length of physically attaching something to his wife. It's not like he put one of those old metal like you know girdles on and then locked that shit up. He literally cut into his woman. 
I mean, it's horrible, but I mean. Nah, this motherfucker's sick, man. And this is just a real. I mean, seriously, this is, this is worse than the, the, the clitorectomies that they regularly give fucking, you know, young girls and. Uh, you know, but like, I mean, even those people, it's supposed to, like, I understand some of that stuff is like their religion or whatever the fuck that they practice. So even it's though it's barbaric area. to us, I mean, it's just like those, those guys that, uh, or those tribes that they, 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 um, they, they, they tattoo their faces. I mean, I believe that was over there in uh, uh, New Zealand, I think. I forgot what it, these tribal things and they, uh, what is the name, what is the name of this stuff? In any case, it was they're very painful tattoos, but this is what they do. This shit is not. This is just a sick bastard, insecure son of a bitch. And then when I was looking at the, I don't know if you have the links at the bottom, some dentist made his wife drink piss. <laughs> yes. <laughs> made his wife drink piss because she what? She gave him some back talk or some shit? Um. <laughs> I forgot what the reason was. Now, we spoke about piss drinking on this show in an entirely different context for those people that want to go back in the archives. This is not that. He wanted, his wife, he wanted to punish his wife by making her drink of some old stank piss. Why? What the fuck is wrong with men out there? I mean, I mean, come on, man. Is this, again, I, they, they make them drink piss and, and, and padlock their snatches. We beat the shit out of them and send them to hospitals or break their arms. It, yeah, that's true. I mean, it's fucking abuse. It's, it's yeah, fucking abuse. Abuse is abuse. I mean, like, I was just thinking of the term. You know, I was watching something the other day. I was talking about wife beaters. They're like, wow, we actually that's part of our actual, uh, 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 I guess, lyrical lexicon. That that we actually have that as a term for tank top, white tee, white 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 undershirts, wife beaters. Because I guess the dudes back in the 40s and 30s would come home. And cold slap fire out their wives with those shits on to the point where it became wife beater. I mean, because you're right. I don't even really call them tank tops too much. And I got, you know, Actually, I do. I, no, I was always disturbed. A, by if that. it's a white, if it's a white one, I call it a wife beater. Hmm. If it's a colored one, I call it a tank top, which is which is fucked up. I mean, we can go all the way back to the rule of thumb and all these other different things that deals with women getting the shit beat out of them, but. I mean, th this was just a story that I, you know, I, I don't even want to give any more time to this. This is just, this is just unfortunate. You know, there was another thing about this woman suing because these fuckers threw acid in her face mm -hmm. because she didn't want to date one of them. So what, you melt her fucking face off of her skull? Uh, not just that, uh, blind and deaf in her. Blind and acid. Yeah. As long as they ain't fuck with my trigger finger, those motherfuckers <laughs> would be dead, dead, dead. But I mean, that's, that, that was just you know, a little bit of a rant on some, some sick debaucheness. But uh, and last but not least, uh, yeah, we yeah, go this, to uh, the world of NASCAR. Yeah. Um, is it really the world of NASCAR or well, is it the, the world, world of, of the dawn of the dead? <laughs> it was the world of nastiness. That, that's the a world of woman nasty. admits she kept the dead body of her friend in a Jackson home. In the Jackson home they shared, uh, not Michael Jackson, um, for um, months. Month. No, it was. A, he was dead for what? Eighteen months. Or Eighteen something. months. Yeah. 18 months. Yes. Um, Charles Ziegler, mum, Ziegler's mummified body was discovered last week, covered in a chair. Oh, uh, Mo, hold on a second. Moko is that is M O K O? Was that facial tattoos? I um, is it Mako or Moko? Whatever. Uh, but thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, Linda yeah, Chase uh, told the Jackson Citizen Patrol uh, Patriot that she regrets her actions and feels horrible about it. Yeah. But she didn't just she just didn't want to be alone. So <laughs> you don't want to be alone and you won't go on this, any kind of social site. You won't go to the local bar. You go and rob a taxidermist or somebody and get some embalming fluid. Hey, he oh, was no, she did some homemade shit. She I mean, what she pickled this dude with fucking uh, <laughs> with Jack Daniels? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What, 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 she, she, you got to give her credit on that. I don't know how that she, uh, she preserved this guy. Yeah, that is pretty much amazing. But, but, I mean, but he was the only one who was ever nice to her. You know, I know that, you know, there's a lot of women out there. If you don't slap them in the face and call them a bitch, they're going to fall in love with you if you're yeah. just nice to them. Apparently, it goes even further. You know, they will keep your body <laughs> nice and fresh and moist. Fresh and, I mean, what, did, she <laughs> yeah, spray, here. did she spray this guy and shit, you know, like she would spray a, a, spray a, 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 plant, a plant or something like that? Uh, a I, I, I don't know. Uh, I what don't I want to know is now that he is, you know, oh, I know she mortis, he's posable now. Well, she's probably wrapped him in bacon. He's wrapped him in bacon. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. no, I'm no, seriously, this dude is now posable now, now that he has rigor mortis, so she can actually position him <laughs> in whatever fucking kind of way that she wants. Yeah, I guess if, you know, uh, you know their favorite racer one, she yeah, she could put his hands up like that, you know, keep him at the door and have here. one hand up and throw a hat on his hand. Okay, you know? she was 67, so she wasn't going on the internet. No, so that wasn't happening. Why not? They don't do they that. They gotta have some granny type well, of they, stuff. Of course they have them, but you know, 
if no one speaks to you, Look, you know, the chance that you will uh, are, are be that. There's got to be some dudes at the bingo place or something. There's no reason you got to fucking hang with a goddamn cadaver. You can't be that lonely. Well, she was also signing and cashing his social security checks. So, um, so he, he was second. generous too, apparently. So she was signing a Oh, I thought she was like wheeling his corpse to the fucking a weekend at Bernie shit. <laughs> wheeling his corpse up to the check cashing place and like cutting a hole in the back of his head and making his fucking mouth move. Past my I was like, this is. Uh, was he flaky? I'm, I can only imagine what this dude looked like. And then, you know, after a while, I mean, she had to go through the period of the time. Uh, uh, I, I know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he had to have really been reeking bad at Look, first. Obviously, this is another just sad. This is some Dr. Fobbs <laughs> macabre <laughs> shit, Vincent Price <laughs> I mean, shit here. I mean, <laughs> this chick tried to create Mumra and shit, the ever living, and it, it, it worked. Apparently, it worked for a while. I, but uh, the, the, oh, if you want to know how she got caught, um, the, uh, the dead person's uh, family hadn't heard from him in a while, which wasn't unusual, but it really became a while, clearly. Yeah, and, um, months, yeah. yeah, so they uh, went to check it out, and, and lo and behold. propped up in the fucking corner yeah, yeah. with about 50 flies flying around his head. <laughs> I mean, this was this, this, uh, this is a sad thing. I mean, yeah. you know, loneliness is a motherfucker. It's a motherfucker. It's a loneliness mother, is a motherfucker. I mean, when it could drive you to the point, I mean, Jesus, mm. cats, anything. Teddy bears, cats. Yeah, dog. teddy bears, cats, mummification, or just shooting up a fucking movie theater. Oh, my loneliness God. Loneliness is a mother but you will be alone now because yep. the show is over. Thank over. you all for joining us again. This is Insanity Check. I'm still a source of Ken. Check out the show on uh, Insanity Check Radio on the YouTube channel, Insanity Check 12 on Twitter, and send us something, anything, anything on uh, Facebook at Insanity Check. And we'll maybe we might put it on. And we might put it on. Uh, if we're not dead, uh, as I'm going to see <laughs> Batman this week. Um, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> thank you, guys. We'll be back right. next week. Take care. Take care.